distant memories. 0.5 seconds, just like that. Shawty, I ain't give you nothing, you got come for shawty I got plenty things, you make a run for shawty Cut up Ed Sheeran, he in love with my body Get into 
It is a brand new day and I literally just got out of the shower and I am so ready to start my day. But first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys how I maintain my curly hair, okay? I wanted to show you guys the one and only product that you honestly really need to keep that wet, not wet look. You know how we got that makeup, no makeup look? We got that wet curly hair, not wet curly hair look, okay? For my wigs, I would do this when it's completely wet, if I want that specific look, okay. Let me just tell you guys the product. The product that I use is this Pattern Strong Cold Gel. I absolutely love this product. So I use this product in two ways. When I'm trying to keep that like wet look for the entire day, while my hair is soaking wet, I lock in the moisture with some mousse, and then I just apply this gel onto the hair. I don't run my hands through it. I literally just apply the gel onto my hair just like this while it's like soaking wet. I apply it and I make sure that I get every single piece, like every single strand of hair. It creates that sexy, sleek, wet, curly hair look and it not literally be wet. And um, I just let it air dry. If you're in a rush, you'll be perfectly fine because once you know you get the moving around, it starts to dry faster or whatever. But yeah, that's what I do to get that look. I'll apply it from root to end on the hair, and then I'll scrunch it up. But I won't run my hands through it, I'll just like scrunch it up, and then it'll kind of stay, it'll literally stay looking like this. And I'm gonna just let this air dry, but you could use a diffuser to dry it. Especially being that I'm not in the rush to go over here. Yes. Okay, so now we got a really good idea started. It was already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Don't ask you, Kendra, why it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and she's just not getting her day started. Don't ask. No, I'm kidding. I know the reason why my day started so late is because my tail did not go to bed till 5.30 this morning. So I originally woke up at 11.30. But when I got up, um, I checked my emails and I realized that I had some emails that I needed to respond to. And then I had like, some, I had two invoices that I needed to send out to uh, two different brands. And then after that, I got a notification that I got a package downstairs. So I went downstairs to get my package. And then um, I got I, I, I got sunk into this loophole on TikTok. And then I went ahead and I showered, did my skincare routine, and now we are here. So that took me about, <laughs> three hours to do so yeah I have like all of these like PR packages and stuff that I had ordered from Amazon that I need to go through because this stuff has literally been sitting on my clothing rack for the past month and I think that that is just unacceptable I do not want to go into September with August's, August's, with August's baggage so we're going to sit down and go through our packages together might as well get some content out of it. Okay, so I'm going to first start off with my Amazon packages. And the first package that I'm going to start off with is, drum roll please, are my special incense. Okay, so backstory. I only use Medina's incense. Ever since I was a kid, whenever me and my family we would travel back to New York, we will always go to Medina that's located in Brooklyn. We will always go there and re-up on all of our necessities. And that can range from our shea butters, our oils, our incense, our sage, our incense holders, our soaps, our black soaps, like any and everything that you need, Medina Industrial has it. Mind you, this store is located in Brooklyn. I'm gonna leave their information linked down below in the description box. If you're located in Brooklyn, you can just go there and get all of your stuff. Um, but if you're not like me, <laughs> I miss New York so much. I'm trying. I'm really trying to get all of my ducks in a row so I can go home. <laughs> but anyways, if you're not located in Brooklyn, then I will also have a link to my Amazon store where I'm going to be linking a, my favorite products from the store. So yeah, that's that. So 
super excited. I'm just so happy that I have my incense. Nala wants to say hi. She's kind of like being a little annoying right now. Say hi, Nala Pooh Bear. Say hi, everyone. Say hi, everyone. My little sugar foot. Mama, please, please, champ, please, girl. I ended up getting me a um, waffle shower curtain. I already have a waffle shower shower curtain, but I needed a new one because there's like makeup stains on it and stuff. So, and I already washed it, but when you wash it, like the thread, it just looks old and raggedy. So I ordered me a new one, but then I also realized that I didn't order me a new liner. Because I feel like when you get a new shower curtain, you might as well get a new shower liner. And then I ended up ordering this yarn as well. Well, whatever this is. Uh, I'm going to leave, like, every everything that I order is literally on my Amazon storefront, so this is going to be in the home goods section. I basically tie this as, like, a decor on my shower curtain it's to give it, like, this sleek, like, this sleek spa look. You guys see you later. And then I also ended up ruining my Grey Skims um, maxi dress, so I went on the Skims website to order me another one, and then I, I saw, I was like, oh, that's a hundred something dollars. Mind you, Skims gifted that dress to me, so I didn't, I couldn't remember how much that dress was really, like, worth. That dress was on the website for over a hundred something dollars. I was like, oh my god, I'm not paying a hundred something dollars for this dress, so I went on Amazon to see if I could find some dupes, and I definitely did. Quality is amazing, has the body snatched and everything. Okay, so I ended up getting this other thing from Amazon as well, because... I do not be wanting to keep ruining my beautiful nails that I keep paying for. That I keep paying $145 and up for. So I basically got like this like mailing opener. Let me open this up. In gold. It's so cute. Mail opener. See? Bam. You don't have to worry about ruining your nails. Sexy. I love it. Look at that. Look at that, look at, look at that, look at that. Easy, easy peasy. All right, so I'm in the mood to be Bob the Builder, okay? I'm in the mood, might as well get it out of the way while I'm in the mood. I know it's supposed to be doing PR unboxing, but I kind of want to build Nala's um, porta potty, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me, I know you're probably like, take that girl outside, she do outside. We go outside for luxury. She is an inside dog, okay? Come here, Nala, I need these people to see that you an inside dog, okay? That you a princess, okay? Look at my princess. My princess is an inside dog. She is so little, okay? She's the littlest little thing in the whole wide world. She's not a teacup, but she's smaller than any other toy that I've ever seen in my life. So, my little baby is an inside dog. I like her being an inside dog, because she be all over my furniture. She be all up in my face, you know what I'm saying? We be cuddling together and stuff. I don't need her to be outside every day, two, three times a day, in the dirt. Wall them germs and pollen. I got allergies, so no. Everything's inside off. We do go outside though. We go outside for luxury, for leisure, for fresh air. Not see his bathroom. So, yeah. The only thing I'm missing is a balcony. If I had a balcony, that would be perfect for her. But our next apartment would be a good balcony. But yeah, so this is the little house. I need to figure out how we gotta put these sticks up in here. Exciting. Super cute. Super cute. Hey, Google. Play Drew Hills Beauty. We could jam out together while we put this together. Turn the music all the way up, please, so I can stop singing. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make her know that this is where you're supposed to use the bathroom. Okay. Now we gotta figure out how we're gonna write on this. Isn't that the cutest little area? I got these um, wall stripes also from Amazon. Um, I'll leave that link down below as well. But I think that this is so cute. This is Nala's little area. Now we're talking about aesthetics, okay? I'm gonna figure out how to fix the pee pee pad in there. But for the most part, I think that this is so cute. And then it says potty. So cute. Yay, you happy? You happy, Sugarfoot? You happy, Sugarfoot? 
now we gotta go through the rest of this stuff. Okay, now let's get into our PR unboxing. The first brand that I'm gonna share with you guys, I've already shared with you guys before, but I'm gonna share with you guys again. It was in my bin, and I absolutely love the brand. Mod is this very sleek, sexy, unisex, sex wellness brand, and they provide a plethora of things from internal massagers, condoms, lubricants, vaginal washes, you know, things like that. The first thing they sent me was this beautiful internal massager called Spot. And I can understand why they call it Spot. This sun is giving everything that it needs to give right now, but I hope it's not too much for my video. But yeah, they gifted me this beautiful internal massager and I love the, that it has like its own little packaging. And I say beautiful because it's so sleek. It's so sexy. You can literally have this out and people can be like, what is that? I think. I think this is so beautiful. Look at this. And it's strong. Mm. Oh, it just feels so good. Oh, my dear. Uh. They have like four or five different modes. Mm. Can you hear that? This is crazy. I've never tried this. But this is crazy. Mm. Now, okay, this is insane. This is level four. Oh my god. Oh, that feels that. <gasps> I've never known that this is like, oh, that feels good. A little spot for me. <laughs> like right behind my ear. Well, not like behind my ear, but behind my ear lobe, I guess. Oh my God. Okay, cute. And then, oh yeah, there's, yeah, there's five different modes, five different levels. I was six. Can't remember, but yeah, this is, this, this thing is powerful. This thing is strong for it to be so like, incognito type this is yeah that thing goes crazy so this is the spot mind you i'm gonna leave their information obviously linked down below as well and they're also in my linked in my link tree too and then these are some compressed towels and all you have to do is just apply water to a little bit of water and then it becomes like a wipe they also have the large ultra thin condoms um, I did open up one of them and I like the way it felt and it's, def it's definitely given it's definitely given um, large I feel like the average man could definitely fit these they're lubricated latex condoms and then these are the libido gummies I haven't taken one today so I'm definitely gonna take one and this is like I said the passion fruit it does taste just like passion fruit. And this is supposed to enhance, you take them daily. And it enhances our sexual desires or arousal um, ability, capabilities. That's everything from Mod. So shout out to Mod. I absolutely love the brand. It's so cute. And I will have everything linked down below in the description box. My camera wants to overheat again, so I need to let it cool down. And then I'll come back. I'm so sick of this Sony camera. It's a brand new day that a girl is living. Get it together. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, it's a brand new day. Had to cut that short because I was just rambling, 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 rambling. And I was getting bored with what I was talking about. So now it's a brand new day. It's actually like a few days later, maybe even like a week later, but it is what it is. We heal. It's evident counts. Drum bro, please. That's who made it back into town. Where the energy at? I don't know. Why are you over there camera deal? What are you trying to hide for? What are you trying to hide? What are you doing? I just seen it, you know. Damn. Well, Brandon came back into town today, and guess what he was doing? What you was doing today? I was. Oh, wait, this is my bad side. Hold on. Get, tell them what you was doing today. I was apartment searching. Doing some apartment hunting. You was what? Doing some apartment hunting. 
plan on moving down pretty soon. Not exactly sure when we get it. Maybe November. But we gonna we gonna work on. It. We working on. It. How about that? Period. You found any that you like? I definitely did. Definitely found a few that I like actually. Um, some of them we looked at were a little suspect, but um, we found some really good ones. Good prices. Yeah, buddy. Close by. Yeah, buddy. Good neighborhoods. Yeah, buddy. Good vibes. Hey. All that good stuff. Hey. So. And nearby, like approximately 10 15 minutes away. Yeah, yeah. And we're far. Close, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, we're gonna see what we can come up with in the next few months. Yeah, so we just got back in from doing that. And now, I'm about to make us a little lunch. Nothing too special. A little sneaky snack because a girl is tired and his flight leave in two hours. Well, he got to leave in two hours. Yeah, yeah. So, in the meantime, I figured I just asked Brandy to put this on your wire on. <laughs> that's, that's how you say it? I don't know, Brandy. <laughs> I just needed something on this wall where I got this um, bike at. It just looks so plain and empty. And I tried to do, I'm going to put a little snippet of what I tried to do. I tried to do this right here. That looked crazy. So I, I took it down and I actually utilized it for Nala's little area. You see the little stickies and stuff. So now we're about to, I found this on Amazon, this little tic-tac-toe thing. I imagined it being a little bigger, but it is what it is. And I'm going to put it right there. Add a little, you know what I'm saying, a little accent to the, because it kind of go with the wood on the bike. So I figured it'll add a little oomph onto that wall because it's pretty plain. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do too much, but because this, this painting is already the statement piece of the wall. And then I got the mirror over there. I'm just trying to add some a little some some right here. So we're going to go help us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we to put that together for it. Make sure it makes sense. I thought this was actually bigger too, though. Yeah, me too, but it's okay. It'll be, uh, well, as, as big as these are, I think it might be. A... It might be all right, because it, it's still going to be like segments. It's going to be like four different areas, and then the X's and the O's got to go somewhere. I just got to figure out where I want the X's and O's. And these are magnets. Mm-hmm. Look at all She just loves you. She just loves you. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Each 
Each one is an opportunity to learn more about each other. Simple. Very simple. What do you dislike about the person I became around, that I become around my family? Can I be honest and say I don't really see a change in you around your family? You know what I thought you were that? What's that? I don't like how you go ghost when you're running your family. Okay. But I'm. That's. <laughs> I okay, I, I, can see, I, I can see that, yeah. I don't answer phone calls. I was looking at it from a standpoint. I barely text. Yeah, I was looking at it more of a standpoint like. You say, like, you're around your family and you, you just you change up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not like guys get around like other women. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, I can see that. But ultimately, if you wasn't thinking about that. But ultimately, yeah, I, I don't really see it. Tell me about the first time we met. The first time we met? I feel like it was in, um, I feel like the first time we met was in um, the first class of the school, which is, which was, <laughs> that was like the class. <laughs> So long ago. Wasn't it um the first class, which is where you go to do muster? Not muster. You know what I mean. Military terms and shit. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> eighth, eighth, eighth grade. That's, uh, <laughs> that was over fifteen years ago. Yeah. We've been knowing each other for fifteen years. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I can't remember, but yeah. I remember science class. I believe that. Yeah. Science class. I never remember that. I think, um, you used to, um, you, have, you used to have a crush on Miss Piggy. Oh, Miss actually. Miss Piggy? You and Dorsey used to talk. Me and Dorsey. Oh. <laughs> Boy, you was That's hollering. That's not Miss Piggy. I, I was these two separate women. Girls. Even with that, you was hollering. I never. You never talked to Dorsey? No. Who used to talk to her in that class? You used to fuck somebody. Never talked to Dorsey. She somebody? was cool. We used to talk shit with her. She was cool. You used to fuck somebody in that class. Eighth grade. Oh, well, <laughs> no, that's no, not him. He was in the eighth grade. I don't, I don't know. I met him in eighth grade, yeah. and he looked the same. Just more mature. Yeah, exactly. Oh, how do you feel about prenuptial agreements? Pre it's a good one. Prenuptial agreements. How do you feel about prenuptial agreements? I feel like it makes sense. So, if you was to get married and you made more than her, you would want to get a prenuptial agreement. Like, I understand it, but I don't know if I'd go that far, personally. That's so nice. I don't think you should either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course you don't. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's, it's one of those situations where, like, you know. But why are you even going to a fifth with me? Where you got to think, think about that. Like, I'm not no. going to a situation where I'm thinking it's going to go bad. I, I might think about it from a standpoint where it's like. Yeah, protect your assets. That's my thing. Protect your assets. Yeah, just penis. Do you feel proud or embarrassed when you talk about my work to others, and why? Proud. That's crazy. Extremely proud about your work. He's very, he's a handy man. There's not a lot of handy men in this world, to, to my knowledge, to my observation. He's very handy. He's good with his hands. He takes initiative, you know. He's a go-getter. No. Thank you. Yes. Right. I'm very proud of you. I appreciate that. In what ways do my friends reflect who I am? So I feel like your friends have been pretty, pretty good as of late. Like you, you got a pretty decent circle around you. But I will say, um, as far as how it reflects who you are, because you're not as connected all the time. But I feel like some of your friends have give you the opportunity to show that more and it's shown. So that's, you know, I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You give me the, <laughs> you know, you gotta feel that comfortability. You know, someone has to give you that space of grace to like want to tap in more, I guess. So, what are you hesitant to tell me? Huh? Huh?
after that one. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that right there is crazy. But you know what? It's good. That's okay. You're taking shots and stuff now. Huh? No! No, no, no. Okay, pull another card. No. <laughs> Ideally, how often would you like to have sex per week? Huh? Huh? <laughs> um, in general? In a relationship? In a relationship? In a relationship. In a relationship. Ideally, I would like to have sex about four times a week. Four times. Mm -hmm. That's enough. I think I should have done. I can't do after sex. I can't uh, ever want to lay up. Don't want to do nothing. Uh-uh. I, I got shit to do. So four times a week, I think it's plenty full. I was about to say, I'm not a person that's going to want to lay up. That much, like, just know it not lay up, but not want to do shit. Yeah, I don't but, do but yeah, I'm, I'm, I got shit to do. Got shit to do. You know, some motherfuckers want to fuck all the time. That's just crazy. That question was for you, it was for me. I know. But I'm just throwing, oh, just, to, just, just throwing it, just throwing it out there. That, that's, that's, that card ain't for you either. It's that's for me. Crazy. Yo, you read it again? Well, dude, I picked you up two, so, picked up for two. sure. So I picked up two. I didn't read the other one, so grab the top one. Why well, I gotta grab the top? Because that's the one I ain't looking at. Ugh. What is your favorite kind of? Uh, what? what is your favorite kind of porn to watch? That's crazy. That is. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I don't know. All that fake. Porn is so fucking fake, man. I like porn. But it's so fake. I like porn. The, the fake shit is, is terrible. So if, I, if I'm watching some shit, I feel like it got to be something realistic. So you know how I like everybody. I like scripted stuff. Nah. I like the. So you know how people talk about like the, the Twitter the, after dark type shit. I like the scripted stuff. The, 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 I don't like the real life stuff. I think that's gross. It's gross for real. Mm -hmm. I like the scripted stuff, like the like the acting, the bad acting. I like that. It's terrible. I like it a lot. And, I ain't and then I like the imagination. My imagination go wild. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed you, and how do you feel about it now? When have you disappointed me? Yeah, how do you feel about it now? You don't disappoint me. It's never been a time where I may have said something, did something, I may have. You maybe weren't expecting me to say or do something, or or kind of. I might have hurt my feelings, but I wouldn't say I was disappointed. I mean. Shit happens. We say stuff that we don't. Well, I'm gonna say that we don't mean you meant it, but you know, we say stuff that we may not mean to say in that moment because it's inappropriate. But I wouldn't say disappoint me. I get my feelings before, but that really happens. Yeah. Don't ever make her. Definitely don't make her. What do you think is my greatest accomplishment? I failed to recognize. Hmm. That is actually a hard question because you are your biggest goddamn critic and I'm talking about like everything. You done did all this shit with the YouTube stuff. Did you make your money out the mud, so to speak? Out the mud. You make your money out the mud, so to speak. And you just be so unhappy with shit sometimes. It bothers me, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? It bothers the fuck out of me because there's a lot of people out here that can't do it. Can't do it, won't do it. They talk that shit, but still can't do it. But you know what I'm saying? You do it and you still just be so dissatisfied. Sometimes I feel like you need to appreciate what you have more. You know what I mean? And I feel like that'll help you. It'll help, get, it'll help you elevate and get to the next step rather than sitting in your shit all the time. Because business ain't always going to be Pop it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But if My you, business is But if you, you know what I'm saying, just appreciate what you got. Like, you know, it, it, I feel like it'll elevate your game a little. What do I smell like? Huh? Huh? <laughs> so what do I smell like?
you take it too long. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs>
I don't. I just, I just, you know. What you think? I just don't. I don't want to know. That's it. It's just what you think. Yeah, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't want to think about shit. Oh, respect that. I like that answer. That's a real man. If you could go back to when we met, what do you think is holding me back? I feel like that's a great question. Because I feel like I might not be able to see that with you. What do I think is holding you back? What are you vibing? think my environment is? How's it look? Like the people I'm around, where I live? Or... What's your environment? Like, I don't want to be around people like that. But I think you do need to. That's how I know you know people. Yeah. I don't. You don't, but it's still like your environment, like putting yourself in places, in places in where you can gain and, and elevate. You can't do that in the house. That's just where you be if you're not working. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey man, somebody got to make this money some kind. Yeah, but when you're off work, you know, diving into other things outside of the house, you know, I don't know, like, I feel like your environment is what's going to be bad for me to be. You're me. I'm working on that. Oh. Why do you trust me? Why do I trust you? You've given me that space to be, like, vulnerable and not judgmental, at least in my face. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, um, and you've, um, I don't know, you've never proved, you've never proved, you've never proved my instinct was wrong, or you've never actually went against your word when it came to anything. I can't even think of you going against your word. sacrifice you've made that I haven't acknowledged? The biggest sacrifice that I made that you haven't that acknowledged? That I haven't acknowledged. Like you acknowledge you before I do. Okay, so we're going to do one more. Because I like that answer. <laughs> what is your favorite imperfection about me? Favorite imperfection? Mm-hmm. My favorite imperfection? That's literally what it says. My favorite imperfection Can about Brandon. It? He put his loved ones over himself, even if he was about to croak over and die. Like, I wish that that wasn't the case, but I also, too, love that about him. It tells a lot about your character as a man. Like, it's like, I don't like it, but I love it. It says a lot about you. Does it make sense? It makes a lot of sense. This is true. Very much the truth. You're very stand up. Stand up guy. I love that about you. Because you know what? I talk, it's five minutes away. Yeah, it is hot. Yeah, because I, I, I feel like that shit sucks too, to be honest. It's one of the things, even about myself, just like. I wish. Not just family, but just. Really just. I don't know, it's a lot. Yeah, I'm about to say, it's, it's a lot, a lot of shit. Where I, I definitely don't take care of myself when I should. Because even, cause even if I, I don't have to, I don't feel obligated to sometimes. And quite honestly, it, it, sometimes it fucks me up. Come on. 
come down here. All the things that you neglect about yourself. Ready to go. He put up the tic-tac-toe and I'm about to whoop his ass. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, I'm X. Alright, call it. Yes. Yes. X is go first. Let's go first. Yeah, do first. Don't This is nice. He did a really good job. Alright, cool. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. You like my voice? It turned you on. And you like to put it in the thong. I'm tired. I need to. I need a fresh start.